Dr. William Beecher Scoville is an authority on brain disorders, but Henry Malazan has him stumped. He's tried every known epileptic drug, but nothing works. Oh, Henry. Brain science today is in its infancy, but in the 1950s, it had barely reached conception. There was a rough idea of what areas of the brain were responsible for which processes, but the ways they interacted or worked together weren't really known. In fact, most of what was known was only known because of people who had survived brain injuries. And so everything new that was attempted was a step in the dark. Scoville is a charismatic, high-octane risk taker. To help Malassin, he got a new and radical idea. Sorry, my life, Doc. I'd like to try something, Henry. Usually, when a brain short circuits like yours, we take out half a region called the hippocampus. Only your case is so severe, I'd like to take out the whole thing. Now, it's never been done before, but I've got a hunch it'll work. It's thought that some epileptic seizures may be caused by an excess of the neurotransmitter glutamate in the brain. Now, when there's too much glutamate, an excess of calcium is released, and inside the brain, that can be very dangerous. Now, the hippocampus generates glutamate, and so removing it should decrease calcium levels and decrease the frequency of seizures. Uh, I don't know, Doc. Sounds kind of risky. Life is risk, Henry. And to be honest, with the life you have... Bob! What have you got to lose? Scoville was willing to perform this surgery because his patient was in desperate need. He had very uncontrolled epilepsy. He had very little quality of life. Still, he was playing a little bit fast and loose because he didn't know what the outcome would be. Despite his uncertainty, Henry agrees to the surgery. Corduroys. Dr. Scoville burns out Henry's entire hippocampus. Time will tell if he is being bold or reckless. 